Hey, what's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Hacker 101. All right, so for tonight's video, I think I got it. This is going to be a really fun video. I think you guys are going to like. Um, so I'm going to show you how to create a Telegram hack bot using ChatGPT. And when I say a Telegram hack bot, what I mean is, is we're going to use ChatGPT to write the code for a Telegram bot that will run the most common in-map scans that I run during a pen test, right? So this will be really cool. I wrote this app 100 percent using chat gpt none of my coding knowledge was used um so i think you guys are going to um, get a lot out of this um video today so first thing let me read my disclaimer all right so for all the hacking that i do on a hack hacker 101 channel um i do this on equipment that i own all the servers that i scan i own them you know all the you know ip addresses um domain names i own them so i don't support any illegal activities and you should always have permission before any hacking activities all right so with that being said let's go ahead and um i'm gonna load up load up my browser and we're gonna um, go to chat gpt you need to have an account and be logged in and then the next thing i'm going to show you is an example prompt that i created so let's zoom in a little bit all right so you, you need to write a prompt, right? And you can use this example prompt to get you started. But for ChatGPT to know what type of application, what type of Telegram bot to write, you, you got to tell it to write a Telegram bot. So I told it to create a Node.js Node Telegram bot that performs the following um, in-map scans, right? And, um, and it's going to create a menu with these scan options with a description. And I gave it a list of the scans that I wanted to run and the descriptions. And then you need to ask, you know, it needs to, the bot needs to ask the user uh, which scan they want to perform and then what the IP or the target address is and so forth. So you take this script or this prompt and you, you can fine tune it. You can you need to sit and think about what type of app you're trying to create and just write it out on a piece of paper on, on a notepad like this, you know, step by step. And then you feed this to chat GPT. And you hit enter, right? And so chat GPT is going to go ahead and make an attempt to create your telegram bot, right? And then what you'll need to do is you're going to take this code that ChatGPT gives you. You're going to take this code and you're going to um, test it. You're going to and you're going to um, add it to an index.js file, which is a JavaScript file that's you know for Node.js. You're going to add it to this file and you're going to start your bot up and you're going to test it and you're going to fine tune it right until you get the bot to work exactly the way you want. Um, now it's not going to work the very first time you you know, the first code that comes out, right? So it's gonna have some bugs, but you can just go and fine tune it. And, and you don't need any coding knowledge to do this. You just need to say, hey, ChatGPT, um, the bot didn't, disc, you know, didn't capture my input when I typed in the IP address that I wanted to scan. The scan didn't work right. And then ChatGPT will go back and look again, and it'll check for errors, right? And then it'll give you new, a new set of code, and then you go and try that new code. Now, one tip I will give you is whenever you tell ChatGPT to regenerate the code, sometimes it'll only regenerate part of the code. So make sure you tell ChatGPT to gener regenerate all the code and look at it, inspect it, make sure it generates all the code, right? So it's a process. And like I said, it only took me 30 to 45 minutes to create the bot that I'm about to show you. Because I'm not gonna, through this video, I'm not gonna go through and, and, and create the bot. I'm gonna to explain to you what I did and how I did it and show you what the results were, right? So at this point, you know, I got code. Um, you're gonna need a Telegram API key for uh, for your bot, Telegram bot. Um, if you don't know how, um, you need to go on Telegram, go to Botfather, create a new bot, and it's gonna give you an API key, and it's gonna give you a link to the bot, and you need to copy and paste those in the notepad and save those, and when you have the API token, come back here and you're gonna put the token here, right? You're gonna copy this code and put in your API token, right? And then you're gonna save this code. All right, so for the sake of the video, we're gonna to go to my GitHub page and I will show you the bot that I created. 
instead of um, you know going through all this um, and recreating the bot. But um, if you go to um, GitHub Hacker 101 videos, you'll see uh, my page, and then click on let's go here, click on Hacker 101 videos. I'm going to create a, a few different projects. I'm just going to put them in different folders here. So let's go to the Nmap Telegram bot folder. Let's click on install. All right, that's really huge. Okay. So, um, so what we're going to do now, the first thing we need to do to install the bot that I created is you, you need Ubuntu or Debian or your Kali Linux will work either one but first thing you need to do and I've already updated my system and installed the applications here that we're going to install so I'm just going to walk talk you through the steps and you go through it you you know if you need to pause the video um, but the first thing you need to do is um, sudo do a sudo apt update to update your system and then once that's done do a sudo apt install nmap and then do a nmap dash dash version to check that it's installed properly same thing for Node.js, sudo apt install Node.js space N, npm, which is Node.js package manager. Install both of those programs and then check the version to make sure it's installed properly. And then once you're at that point, then um, I'm going to show you um, how to set it up on my, on my server. Or I'll show you from my server how to set it up. All right. So. All right, the first thing we need to do is do a git clone. And almost every Linux machine has git installed. If you don't, just type in apt install git. And let's clone this repo that has the bot. All right, so now I'm going to do a ls. You see we have a folder called um, hacker101. OK, let me go back. I'm going to clean this up a little bit. Start over. All right, so let's do a git get clone all right CD hacker 101 vids LS and you'll see the nmap telegram go to that directory and I'm gonna do a clear this I'm gonna clear the screen can't seem to type do a LS all right so you see we have the index.js file and we have a package.json file and that's something I want to also mention once you get your code generated and working the way you want you can then go and tell um, ChatGPT, tell ChatGPT to create a package.json file of the required dependencies, and it will it will create it and it'll tell you you know you'll save it in a file called package.json. You just copy the code. It's pretty simple. Um, but for this example, you know, so I already have my package.json file. So now at this point we need to we need to um, do an npm install. And what this is going to do is it's going to go and read this, and I'll show you. See, cat package.json. It's the npm install command that I'm about to run. npm install. That command is going to install this Node Telegram bot API, this util, child process, all these dependencies. It's going to install these for the application to be able to run. So just hit enter. Now you're going to notice that um, it says these applications are outdated. Um, yeah, I understand that. So I created the code, this code in like 30 to 45 minutes. So I'm going to update the code so it doesn't have these vulnerabilities. It's not outdated. But for this video, I just want to go ahead and get this, you know, show you guys. So let's hit clear. But you can you can disregard those deprecation warnings. It's not going to stop your bot from working. All right. So the next thing you need to do is do an ls and we need to edit the index.js file. So do nano index, or you can use vi. And we need to put our Telegram bot API key right here. All right, this is where you went to Botfather. You told it to create a new bot, and it gave you an API key, and it gave you the link to the bot. Right, so you need the API key that you cop you saved. Put that here, like that. And um, once you have that, um, and oh, by the way, I'm going to delete this key, so it'll be no good by the time you watch this video. So just hit Control X to save. And now the bot is configured. It's that, it's that easy. Just a couple of steps, right? So now you need to type in node index.js. 
that's going to start the bot. And once again, ignore the deprecation warnings. I'm going to update the bot in the near future um, so, it, so it has um, the most updated software. So now the bot's running. You just need to minimize your screen, minimize the bot, and then go to, let's open up Telegram. And then you need to go to your bot's um, channel. And then you just type in forward slash scan. And then voila, there is the bot that I created. So now it gives me a list of different types of scans that I can run against my target, right? So I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to scan my site demo.hacker101vids.com. I'm going to do a, all right, I already know it, it, it exists, so I'm not going to do a network discovery scan. I'm going to do a TCP connect scan. So I'm going to select number two. And I'm going to put in the IP address or the website name. You know, if you have a client and you're pen testing their website, you can put in like demo.hacker101vids.com like that. Or not quite like that. You need to put a dot. But um, you get it. Um, so type that in. And then the bot is going to do it scanning. It's going to say it's executing the scan, TCP connect scan. It shows you the, the dash ST, the flags that it used, and the IP address or the host name you're scanning. And as you can see, it has port 22 is open and port 80 is open. All right, so to do a new scan, you just type in scan, and then you can choose a different scan. So let's do a, um, let's do OS detection scan. So we'll do five, and then we'll type in demo.hacker101vids.com. All right, just like that. And it says nmap-o, which is the operating system scan. And you see it come back. It says that demo.hacker101viz.com is running Linux 2.6 kernel. So that's pretty cool. Um, and we got nmap running in, in Telegram. And done the, I've done this in like 30 minutes, 30, 45 minutes um, using ChatGPT um, and had to uh, use none of my coding knowledge to make this work. All right, so let's do another scan. So do one last scan. All right, so we will do. Let's do a. Let's do a version detection scan to see what version of SSH and what version of HTTP is running. So we'll do number six. Demo. Dot hacker one hundred one vids. Dot com. Boom. Let's go do an nmap dash sv capital b demo dot hacker one hundred one vids dot com. So it's checking the version of the software or the open ports twenty two. It's version open ssh eight dot two, and HTTP is nginx dot one dot one eight dot o. Right? Pretty damn cool. Um, yeah, I'm enjoying Chat GPT. I, I like I like the code, but I don't have a lot of patience for coding. So I've always been into the security side of things where I can run scans and multitask and whatnot, but ChatGPT is making it really easy. I can just give it an idea and tell it, you know, what type of tool I want to create. You know, I can take I can take the same idea, the same concept, and go create, you know, a tool that'll run nmap scans, run a mass, you know, run GoBuster, all these different tools. I'm gonna I'm gonna create, and that's probably the plan. I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep developing um, this application and turn it into a framework. Uh, where you can run different tools. So I think that'll be kind of neat. And, you know, it's a lot of fun. So if you like the video, go ahead and hit subscribe. And then I'll think of another video for you guys. All right, thanks.